Hello. This video provides a demonstration of some of the features of the dynamic profile links in the SyncPack C3D. And in this in this drawing here, I have three alignments, each with a profile. And to start, I'm going to go ahead and link the profile on alignment A here to the profile on alignment B. So whenever we adjust alignment, you know, the profile alignment B, the alignment A will adjust to match. And to start. I'll just come in here and I already have a PVI here where the intersection is the intersection between uh, alignment A and alignment B and so I'm just going to go ahead and link this to the profile and do that I'll just select it and right click select dynamic links that calls up this dialog here and I want to go ahead and add a new link when I do that this lets me pick in the drawing here and you see how the two reference lines are moving to the PVI on either side of where the cursor is and I'm actually going to just pick the PVI closest to the cursor but when I come over here you see I don't get a reference line coming over to this final PVI that's because it's off of the end of the alignment and various features of the dynamic links depend on the ability to locate this PVI horizontally in the plans and if it's off the end of the alignment we can't determine a horizontal location for it so we can't create a dynamic link to that PVI but we can create a dynamic link to either of these and if I move off the profile view into plan view I can also pick in plan view so let's go ahead and add a dynamic link to this point here and this one we want to go ahead and link to the alignment on profile B or the profile on alignment B and I could do that by selecting in the drop box here or I could click this button here and go and pick graphically in the drawing and once I do that I can specify various adjustments datum adjustments but right now I just want to hook the profiles directly to each other so I'm going to turn all of these off I'm going to go ahead and enable this option for a full profile link and what this will do is this will cause the entire profile to move up and down with that PVI. So now I've linked this PVI to profile B and because of the full profile link it will move this entire profile up and down. So as I come up here and I grab this profile on alignment B and I move it up and down the entire profile on alignment A moves up and down with it. Now if I were to come in here and adjust this link and turn off this full profile link option now only this one PVI will move up and down when I move when I move profile B. And see the profiles, the PVIs on either end are now staying in their position, and only the one PVI is moving. Okay, now let's come in here and let's say I want to hold uh, this grade here at a 2%. And so I want to go ahead and put a link on this PVI here and link it to this PVI and set it so that uh, they hold this minus two percent of course I can't add a dynamic link to this PVI while it's off of the alignment so let me just go ahead and move it over here onto the alignment now that it's on the alignment I can add a dynamic link to it so let's go ahead and add a new link and for this new link I want to link this to, uh, basically I want to link to uh, PVI on the same profile so I want to also select alignment A here and again I can select here or I could click here to come in here and pick it in the drawing and once I have uh, alignment you know I, I have uh, I basically creating a link from profile A to profile A here um, when I'm linking onto the same alignment I get this option I can only when I'm linking to another PVI on the same profile I can only link to an adjacent PVI so this lets me specify whether I want one at uh, the 
next previous station or the following station. And in this case, I want the previous station. And I want to hold a minus 2% grade from that previous station. And in here, I could specify this either as a grade or as a slope. And if I want a slope, I could specify it as rise over run format or as run over rise format. Let's go ahead and specify it just as a minus 2% grade. And let's leave the rest of these options off. And we'll see now that PVI adjusted to hold a 2% grade here. And now as I come up here and move this PVI, we see the alignment A moving, one PVI moving to match profile B. And then the PVI at the end of alignment A moving to hold that minus 2% grade. Now I can also go ahead and link another profile here. I've got the end of alignment A here and the beginning of alignment C kind of near each other. So let's go ahead and let's just link another, let's link this PVI at the beginning of alignment C go ahead and link it to alignment A. So I'm going to link this PVI to alignment A. Let's just link them directly. So now I've got this PVI. <coughs> this PVI will move up and down with this PVI down here. And when I grab profile B, everything moves together. So basically this PVI is moving with this PVI, which is moving with this PVI, holding that 2% grade. And that PVI is moving along with the profile here. It's all dynamic. And just as one additional option, let's take a look at here at alignment B and C across from each other. And this option might be useful when uh, you have a center line profile on a road with uh, left and right, you know, for your flow line, left and right flow line profiles. Or it might also be useful if we have a roadway with a ditch on one side and we have, we want the high point in the ditch. The ditch is its own alignment and profile and we want the high point in the ditch to move with the high point in the road. Should we move the high point in the road? So let's go ahead and let's link this PVI right here in alignment C to this PVI in alignment B. And they're both roughly in the middle of the respective alignments here. So do that. let's just come up here to alignment C and create a new link. And let's link this PVI. And we'll go ahead and we'll link it to the PVI on alignment B. But we're gonna enable this option to link PVI to PVI. And let's also go ahead and set the statum adjustment so that our PVI on alignment C is held five feet below the one on alignment B. When I click OK here, now this PVI on alignment C actually moved to match B. And I locked the PVI to the PVI. So as I move this around here, whoops, let me position this here. Try and grab it here. And as I move this PVI, you can see the PVI on alignment C moves both horizontally and vertically along with the one on alignment B. And we could see here this PVI elevation at 2615. And then up here this one is 2115, holding that five foot separation. And that's just a demonstration of some of the features of the profile links in the SyncPack C3D. The next video will show how these links might be used in our model.